What's going on guys, Quick here, uh, bringing you some Search Destroy on Skid Row. Uh, I think I finally got my, uh, my microphone to work, it didn't work the last commentary that I did, but you know, hopefully it works this time. So we're playing some Modern Warfare 2, and I got some sexy ass colour correction on right now. I uh, hope you guys really enjoy the, uh, the video, because it's actually a pretty, pretty, pretty video. Um, as in pretty as in, you know, a pretty girl, or a pretty video. But uh, I'm using the Master of the Red Dot, uh, I think I've got Slayer Pan, Stop and Power, and Ninja on. And I am sound whoring for the win right now and try harding like a try hard. But uh, what, that's not what I want to talk about today. What I want to really want to talk about today is uh, is dreams and deja vu type dreams. Now, my PC, as you guys know, I've had some issues with it of being really, really loud and the, the fan being really, really loud. Uh, but right now, there is no sound coming with the PC at all. Uh, that's not because I'm not using it at all, uh, it's because I am using it. And uh, what, I, what, what happened was last night I had a dream. Um, and this is not some kind of Martin Luther King ripoff. This is—I actually had a dream, and uh, it was—it was a dream about my PC. And uh, there's, a, there's a shop in the UK, and it's called PC World, um, and it's pretty much where we buy computers from. Uh, most people who buy a computer will either buy it from Curry's and PC, and they—they're both together now. They've—they've they've merged together uh, or whatever. I think it's Curry's and PC anyway. Uh, but PC World is definitely the best place to go get a computer from. Uh, hence the name PC World. But I was having a dream and me, my grandma and my granddad were in there, or my nana and my granddad were in there and uh, they were sat down and I was talking to a fellow, I was like, dude, seriously, my PC is uh, it's pretty screwed up, you know, it makes a lot of noise and uh, I don't enjoy using it and it makes so much noise, uh, it ruins my Minecraft commentaries. But the guy, he said, well, um, he was a big ginger guy, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the scene for you now, okay, there's a desk, there's two guys sat in a chair talking and then this ginger guy, this huge ginger guy walks over and he, he says, um, we can't do it. I'm like, okay, so you can't clean it. So he says, but you can. We can teach you how to do it because apparently it was too small for him to do it because he was so huge and, you know, he was like really tall. Um, I don't know why. He was kind of like made it out to be a dream because he was so huge. He was, he was like giant size. But he said he can't do it because it was too small. And I was like, okay, so I'll do it. So he, he told me which two screws to unscrew and how to unlock it and how to get the uh, the, the back off the, uh, off the computer or the side, should I say. And... And he, he showed me how, and there was a layer of dust on the on the computer, on the fan inside, which was making it was so much, it was making it, you know, the sound come out that, you know, you don't want to hear. Now, I woke up this morning and I turned the computer on and it was wasn't like hell. I thought, you know what, I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to take it downstairs, and I'm going to get my granddad to help me clean it out. But granddad wasn't there, so I said, Nana, uh, will you help, give me a hand uh, doing this? So I went outside, I got his toolbox and his, uh, his tools, and I, I got his screwdriver. Now his screwdriver, uh, I, I got it out the the, uh, the thing and I, I knew exactly where to take the screws out of. Um, it was weird, I knew exactly where to take it out and, and what to do. Um, I knew the two screws that had to come out, I knew where they were, I knew uh, exactly how to unlock it, how to pull it to open it. Now that was, that was that just freaked me out, okay, I was standing in my nana, I was like, Nan, you know, this is uh, this weird, I, I know exactly how to do this and 1v4 clutch for the win. But I, I knew exactly how to do it, I was like, well, and my nana said this is, this is weird as well because, you know, she... She didn't know what was going on because I I'm not a computer whiz, but I know what I'm doing with PCs, obviously. But I'm not a I'm not a PC whiz, but one v four clutch for the win, eight you know second round. That's pretty damn good. But what I want to say, guys, is I don't know if you guys actually believe that this actually happened to me, but it did. Um, but have you guys ever had anything like this? Um, leave a comment below. Tell me whether you, tell me your little story as such or uh, and whatnot of, of of what you did because I get these quite a few times, you know, but dreams that seem like they're real and then you wake up and they're not real have you ever had a dream inside of a dream where you're dreaming um, of being in a dream as such like you're dreaming about you know that you think's real and then you're dreaming inside of that dream um, it's kind of weird to kind of hard to understand uh, but I, I don't know if anyone's ever had one of those dreams because I, I had one a couple of days ago I was dreaming uh, I was walking down the street and as you can probably tell, I have some really crazy dreams, obviously, but uh, <laughs> no, I, my dreams are kind of weird. I, I remember them as soon as I wake up as well, but uh, I, was, I had a dream where I was, I was walking down the street and uh, I, could, I, could see, um, I could see people around me that I knew, like family and friends and things like that. I was, and it was just like well, a normal day. And uh, I was walking down the street and there was, and I came home and I, I fell asleep. And when I fell asleep, I had another dream. I had a dream inside of a dream. Um, and it was it was weird. It was uh, something that's not very fun. Uh, it kind of freaks you out because when you wake up, you're thinking, "Well, did I actually go out or did I not?" Because it, it's uh, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to explain. But oh, this guy's 
connection interrupts and this uh, right shoulder is going to take advantage of him and, uh, and bash him in the face. But yeah, I'm using a uh, different, going on to a completely different issue right now. You know, that's the issue about the Dreaming Gone, um, the computer problems fixed. But, you know, I've, uh, I, uh, I've been using a different program to record my voice. Now, as you guys know, I've got Sony Vegas Pro 10. Um, who hasn't these days really, you know, if you've got Sony Vegas Pro 10, 9, 8, whatever. But um, I have a new pro, I don't use Audacity. I used to use Audacity to record my voice, as you guys know. But it didn't seem to work too well. It, it, it failed a lot of times, and uh, the noise removal wasn't very good at it. And now I don't even have to use noise removal because there's there's, there's no noise to remove. Um, but it might be echoing a little bit more as well in this room because of the uh, lack of whizzing. But I was uh, I use now Sony Audio Sony. Let me listen. Sony Forge Audio Studio 10. Uh, that's a bit of a mouthful. Sony Forge Audio Audio Audio. I can't say that word. Audio Studio 10. Uh, it's a it's a weird program it's uh it's pretty much you have key gens obviously for getting sony vegas and, and whatnot as you guys know i'm not going to go into it you know uh if you try and find one of these key gens to listen to this video then it's not my responsibility but uh yeah you can get things like that and i thought you know i'll just try and get this one as well oh you got sound uh, i i feel sorry for snipers that get sound hoard by myself um because i hate it when i get sound hoard as a sniper uh, and i really do feel sorry for the guys who you know run around the corners with their commando on and doing 360 jump shot ladder stalls no scope 720 wall bang pistol swap knife in there tomahawk throwing knives but you know it's uh i wanted a good game so <laughs> so i was try harding and sound whoring and just being a douche to everybody and it was american lobby as well so i was on a two bar which uh doesn't explain why i got so much accuracy right here look at this accuracy i did not miss a shot there i shot three bursts and hit every burst and through the wall and, and got that guy but um yeah, at the end of the game, a lot of people asking why I was tryharding, but I had my tail beaches in, and if I had my tail beaches in, I don't really talk to people. I'm just kind of like, yeah, I don't care, you know. Um, but I think it was like 11 or 12 o'clock. Uh, that's why it was a. Uh, that's why I was in an American lobby because usually at that time uh, on a weekday, kids are pretty much gone to sleep, and as you guys know, you get a lot of kids on Xbox these days. You know, you don't usually run into too many grown men or or, uh, or women, or whatever people that are just a little bit older. Um, but as you know, I'm 18, so well, 18 in like two months. So uh, I I don't particularly enjoy talking to children on Xbox. It kind of irritates me. But I'm gonna get the last two kills here and uh, end up going 15 in one, which is a pretty good search destroy game. Try hard in a search. But I hope you guys enjoy the color correction and the commentary. And hopefully, I'll be with you in a couple of days with my new mic. And uh, you know, yeah, Minecraft for the win. See you later, guys.